Okay, let's try this again. Hello, beautiful family. <laughs> so I already uploaded this video and actually um, another video and I was in the process of another video when I got notification of a comment. Um, uh, and thank you, Brother Abraham, for that um, shout out on that, letting me know there was no sound on the video. I don't know what happened. Uh, neither, uh, none of the videos I uh, attempted to upload uh, had uh, sound to it, so I don't know what was going on. So I just reset my phone, and I'm actually also charging while I'm filming, um, filming this, uh, recording this. So um, hopefully all goes well this second time around. So literally, let's take a second, a second look at the second glance of the She Reads Truth. <laughs> So if um, y'all are new to the channel, first of all, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just want to say, if you're wondering about the second glance, what it's all about. Um, in a nutshell, what I, what I, uh, sec the second glance is I've already reviewed every single one of these Bibles that are in the playlist of a second glance. And um, the second glance is just my personal, uh, my personal take on it. It's not the initial review of the Bible, which the initial review of the Bible, I, most of those, the Bible's already reviewed. I have not actually spent a lot of time in. So, um, I was just reviewing on, uh, first looks, basically a first glance. The second glance is I've gone through these Bibles completely. The ones I'm doing second glances on, and, um, I give my personal take on it, what my likes, my dislikes, and, um, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into it. I do want to say too, um, this is not an actual review. This is just taking a look at a look at it, a second glance at it. As you can see, it is um, two piece box that this beautiful Bible comes in. This is the rose gold, absolutely gorgeous. Now I will show y'all um, the features that is included in this Bible, so y'all can pause and read if you like. There are a lot of devotionals, illustration, illustrated Bible verses, uh, and all that good stuff. So. Um, a lot of really good stuff in this Bible. This is a very beautiful Bible. The um, She Reads Truth and He Reads Truth Bibles are really thick. Um, and they do have some weight to them. Um, but this is overall a gorgeous Bible. I love the rose gold with the gold edging. It just it pairs so well. I, I do want to see real quick. Give me one moment. Okay, so I went ahead and got the scale, and I just, out of curiosity, I want to weigh this Bible so y'all know just how heavy this Bible is. I want to make sure y'all can see, and I'm going to place it on there. It's a pretty heavy Bible. So just a hair over three pounds. That's a pretty, uh, a pretty heavy Bible there. Okay move this somewhere out of my way okay so now let's get into taking a second glance at it um first thing first thing i love aside from the aesthetics it's a beautiful this is a beautiful beautiful one of course they have different designs check them out um but they do have two ribbon markers i'm so happy about that um this is a devotional bible Okay, so here's the key features. So if you want to pause and kind of read, but it does give the key verses. It does have the beautiful art. I love, love, love that. Um, this is, of course, Book of Galatians. Maybe um, we can check this one out. We'll have to see. It does have maps and introductions, reading plans, um, genre in indicated um charts timelines devotionals and layouts and so on and so forth um so much to this bible i just love it um now here i do want to show y'all let's see where is the chart for that um i know i saw it in here somewhere 
I'm looking for the chart with the different genres. Jo genres, I don't know if I'm saying that, pronouncing that right, but that's okay. <laughs> I say it the way I say it. Okay, so I am not seeing it. But this right here, here's the different ISBN numbers for the different She Reads Truth. So, um, but it does have different colors. You'll see as we go through it. I thought there was a chart. Um, I may be overlooking it. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, this is the first art here. I love the art scriptures that they have. And every book has one at the beginning, very beginning, even before the book introductions. And they're all so beautiful. Um, I love just the art form on this one. And, of course, we have the key verse, uh, key verse there. And each book will have an introduction to it, um, which I personally really like. I do. Um, now here, here is the first plan. Of course, this Bible does come with a um, year, one year reading plan. But every single book, before you start getting into the, con the the scripture, every single book has a reading plan, and it breaks it breaks it down. You can do just a simple one, or you can go uh, go deeper in it for deeper study. And I love that so much. This is definitely this this right here is um, and the um, uh, scripture art are the two things that really. Uh, has this Bible to stand out. It's definitely different. It's not just your, like with the reading plan, it's not just a regular reading plan. It's, um, it has to where you can actually go deeper in your study and whatnot. And I truly, truly love that. Um, and then here is one of the samples of the, uh, of one of the devotionals. So they have the devotionals all sprinkled throughout scripture. It is a, oops, it is a one column text, um, as you can, uh, one column format, as y'all can see, but it does give plenty of room around the border to take notes. If you are a note taker, I mean, look at that. I love, 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 love that. Um, I am personally not big on note taking, but that's all right. Hey, I know some people who are, and they love having room to take notes. Here's, um, for Leviticus, here is, um, the scripture art. And you'll see these um, sprinkled throughout as well with, with uh, the books. They have different charts, like charts, and they have charts or maps or whatever is needed for that particular book. And it, it kind of breaks things down. And I'm more of a visual person, so I love this. Absolutely love the fact that they have this, um, the charts and um, uh, uh maps and whatnot in here of course here again is um the reading uh scriptures and it, it just divides it up you can go as fast or as slow as you want and i just love that see it just like here it gives week one and week two and week three which of course if you want to take more time out you absolutely can you can spend two weeks on week one two weeks on week two, maybe three weeks on week two, if you so choose to. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I want to show y'all. See, here's a, one of the maps that it has, like charts, maps, whatever you want to call that, maps with charts. <laughs> and here is a beautiful art again and I do want to find another oh here's another really beautiful one and the ribbon markers are really nice as well and the ghosting there's not much ghosting ghosting isn't bad okay this is what I'm looking for right here Okay, so I'm looking for the arts. I just want to show you all some more. And I know there's some really pretty ones. Um, here's another one. Um, and 
And I love that this Bible has color. I love Bibles with colors. Um, like I said, I'm a visual learner. And um, if you can capture my my uh, attention with big, bold, beautiful colors and, and art, I love it. Look at like this. I mean, come on. How could you not want to dive into the book of Daniel with this? I mean, it's just a great way to kick it off. Just so beautiful. Here's Hosea. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, come on, y'all. This is so gorgeous. You can't really see it on camera. It's darker on camera, but it's a beautiful um, um, deep green. It's just gorgeous. So bright. So gorgeous. But <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and show y'all the different ones. Let's go into... Um, Okay, so here we are in the New Testament. I, the, it, it is a black letter. I know some of you just really love the uh, love black letter, and that's totally fine. That's that's cool. Uh, me personally, I love Jesus's words in different color, but that's just me. We're all different. We all learn at different different paces. Um, now here's more of a softer one for Romans, but it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful, like a, almost like a sky blue. Another one, another sky blue. But let me see here. I was trying to find the Ephesians one. Where is it? <laughs> I passed it up. I know I did. It's Corinthians. Maybe I'm thinking wrong, aren't I? Yeah, I am thinking wrong. Okay, so it is back further. Oh, my goodness. Here's a real pretty one for First Timothy. I don't want this video to be super long because I am just looking at it at a second glance. Okay, we'll just go with Colossians for now. I mean, if I find it, I find it. But what I really, really enjoyed, um, there, that's beautiful. What I truly enjoyed, um, okay, here we go. That's just gorgeous. Galatians is the one I was looking for. Okay, but any hoots, um, very pretty uh, layout, very beautiful, bright, bold colors, um, and the art is amazing. The, the reading plans are amazing, and I just overall, I really enjoyed this um, Bible. Um, they do have, you know, the book introductions, which aren't uh, too wordy. Um, I think it's just the right amount of information. Of course, if you want more information, you would want to lean more towards a study Bible as opposed to a devotional Bible. But I love that they have scripture all throughout scripture. I know, <laughs> but they do, they have like the art scripture. They have the, um, the, uh, uh, key verses or excuse me. Um, the key, ver yeah, the key verses, uh, in parishal, Yeah. They have the art, the, the key verse art, and then they have the key verses for every chapter. And, of course, we can take these key, key verses and use them as memory verses. That would be awesome sauce. Just gorgeous. And the bright colors. Oh, look at that, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? The colors, y'all. Um, there's Revelation. The colors in this Bible is just so be beautiful and bold. And it just, you know, the Bible overall is just gorgeous. And it just makes you want to dive in. And I love the devotionals. I loved, um, I love the ribbon markers. I love, as a matter of fact, the ribbon markers are double-sided sat satin. I love the color and the boldness. Um, uh, it's like they weren't afraid to put color in the Bible. And that just, I'm like, yes. 
Um, I love the arts. It just pulls you in and um, the visuals of it is just amazing. Uh, like I said, I am a visual learner. I know some of you are as well, if not most of you. Um, and it just really pulls me in. I love it when the Bible just pulls me in. And don't get me wrong. Please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Scripture. I love scripture. I have some what you would call just a plain Jane Bible. Um, I do have those and I love those as well. But um, sometimes we just need to change it up. Um, and at least I do. And um, have something that's got boldness in it. That's got um, like bold colors, bold um, art uh, artwork and just beautiful and stands out and makes me want to read it more um so I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a second glance at it um I hope and pray that y'all can hear me fine um that was just weird so hopefully I won't have to do this yet a third time so um lord please be over this this uh, this uh, uh video and um be over my phone and the devil is a liar the devil is a liar satan uh, devils get your hands off my uh, off this channel, off my phone, off the Bibles in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. So I remember to pray, pray, pray. Prayer is so crucial. And until next time, much love. God bless.